Welcome to Crash Course in Commercial Real Estate. We converted our in-house training program to a podcast to teach you prospecting, negotiation, business planning, and other fundamental skills to become a successful commercial real estate agent. And now, here's your host, Brady Collier. Alrighty, welcome back to Commercial Real Estate Training 101. Um, Shannon, I'm really excited uh, about what we're about to talk about because a lot of things that we've discussed so far were abstract. Why do you want to get into real estate? They were ethereal motivations. They were attributes of successful agents. But um, in this episode, I want to speak about something that's very practical. And so this one's called Getting Started. Okay. building your database. And so today I've asked Ch- uh, Chase Magoo, who is our most um, recent hired agent. Most green. He's the greenest <laughs> agent. Um, but So he's the guy in our office who's most recently gone through the process that you're about to go through. So I've asked him to join us. Um, and we're going to talk about building building your database. And I'm going to say that uh, you know during my days of selling apartment complexes, my database was my lifeblood. Every day when I got to the office, I would open up my email, I'd throw it up on one screen, and I would open up my CRM, my database, and I would put it on the other screen. And it was open. Both of those two things were open. And then my little you know, screen down here, it was the one that would go between a lot of things. But my database and my email were on the screen all day long. And so, um, Chase, how often are you in the database during a day? All day, every day, every All, hour of the day. Every hour of the day. And so we want to start, we want to talk about building your database, and we're going to talk about how to use the database effectively. And we're going to talk about why every commercial real estate broker needs um, a really strong database. Okay. So um, do you want to talk about the why first? Yeah, that's great. Okay, so give me the top couple of reasons why Shannon needs a really strong database, and yeah, give me a few reasons. You can't remember everything. You can't multitask. When you talk about remembering things, um, what we're going to get into right now, how to use the database. What are the kinds of things that you would need to remember that you couldn't remember, but it's, it's there in the database? I'm forgetting what I need to know right now in this conversation. I need, that's, <laughs> I mean, that's exactly what I, you need a database to remind you of everything. Um, for example, you know, you need to know, uh, phone numbers, names, contact, the right contact information for the right company or property, um, who that person is, and really, ideally, what kind of person they are and what they like. Are they short on the phone? Do they quick? Or do they straight to the point and to business? Or they do, do they like to kind of talk a little bit and ease into whatever you're looking for and the and, reason why you're calling. And you're thinking all of that's in your database? Yeah. So whenever I open up my database, uh, I was a multifamily broker for several years. Um, I had, say, 500 apartment complexes. And when I open the day and I start prospecting, the database is where I house everything. So every conversation I have had with the person I'm about to dial has been recorded in the database. So the last time I call them every six months, twice a year, just to see what their next real estate move is. And so I open up the database and yes, I've got their name, their phone number, their email address, but I also have notes on every conversation I've had with them. And as you're calling on these same clients over and over and over, you develop relationships with them all. You end up knowing their wives. You know, I had one client who his, one of his sons was a college swimmer and his name was Andrew and his other name, you know, you know their kids' names. And so, but there's so many clients, you can't remember all of that. So you type it in the database while you're on the phone, you've got your headset in and you're, you're typing all of those notes. Sometimes you'll put their birthday in, their wife's name. There's no way you could remember that of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of clients. But when you call somebody, you look so stinking smart. When you say, hey, by the way, how's Andrew doing? Is he doing well at SMU? Oh, yeah, he just had a big swimming tournament. And all of a sudden, you're so much, you know, they feel close to you right. because you're their friend, not just somebody prospecting right. them. So I those mean, are the kinds yeah. of things that you would put into the database. Right. And even sometimes, like, I'm just straight up honest with them and that I have a note for me to call them. And I just tell them, hey, I had this note that came up. Instead of them feeling like I'm, I'm hoodwinking them or I'm being – you know, very fake. I, I want to sound genuine in what I'm doing. So good. Yeah. You were about to ask a question. No, I was just going to say, I had it happen today, you know, being my third week on the job. And I guess the first week I had called this broker. Well, I called him today and I was like, I think I've already called you. And he goes, yes, yeah. you left me a message one time, but I'm sorry. I never got back to you. Anyway, it would have been helpful to have a database yeah. as I was calling him knowing, I know I've talked to him before. It, you, you feel silly when you do that. Okay. Let yeah. me tell you when you feel silly is when you call 
um, somebody who has an apartment complex in Lubbock, Texas, or a shopping center, whatever it may be, and you ask them a question about that, because you're, you're, when you're prospecting, what's your next real estate move? You, that's what you want to know. You're going to sell, you're going to buy, you're going to trade, what are you going to do? You're going up, down, I mean, you just need to know what their next real estate move is. And you haven't done the research to know that he actually owns five apartment complexes. And you're the subject matter expert of all things multifamily in Lubbock, Texas, which I'm not anymore, but it was at the time. And I didn't know he owned these other properties and I was prospecting on this one. So one thing about that person is what all does he own? What kinds of things? And so say you're calling retail shopping center owners, where all does he invest? what all markets the first call you've had well are you only interested in texas you know are you looking for you know appreciation properties cash flow properties you're going to know their age and, and what their financial goals are so whatever type of real estate you're working within there's going to be details and there's no way you can remember so the why of having a commercial real estate database is because nobody's capable of remembering everything and it makes you look smart and it makes you an expert on that subject every day while you're prospecting. And we're gonna talk about time management and Kyle got into the other episode, deal management. We're gonna talk about that later. We're gonna talk about time management and time blocking, but you're gonna prospect every single day and you're gonna do it all through your CRM, uh, all through your database. So um, other reasons of why you would have one, I would say is because it's the most efficient way to market your listings and to market yourself. When you have everybody who owns, I'll just use an apartment complex, everybody who owns an apartment complex, they all want to know what's selling because based on what it's sold for and the cap rate and so on and so forth, they can get an evaluation on their own real estate. And everybody wants to know what their stuff is worth. And so when you're sending them things, they, they may even want to get your email for that information. But the best way to market yourself is that they're getting emails that you've sold things, you've listed things, you're active in the business. So the best way to market yourself is through this contact list of people and you're doing your marketing efforts through your database. Um, and it's also the most effective way, the most likely buyer of a multifamily asset may be somebody who already owns another apartment complex in the market. So you're gonna send all your new listings and that may be an office building, a retail shopping center, a space, whatever it may be, to a client set that is identified within the database. So how do you use it? Use it to make yourself look smart. Use it for your own marketing, for yourself, for your listings. Um, use it to remember things, to organize lots of data. So those are my top three reasons. Anything else beyond that? Um, it's, it's kind of just to repeat and qualify what you're saying. It, it, it actually it brings quality to the quantity of your prospecting. Yeah. You know, everyone's like, you need to make 100 calls or – this many calls a day and all that. Well, if you're just doing that and you have no quality to what you're doing, you're going to be wasting your own time and wasting other people's time, which will give you won't be able to build any rapport that way. So let me summarize one thing that he said in the word efficiency. Uh, working within a database, a well-organized database, makes you efficient. You know how many calls you've made. We're going to evaluate after your first year the number of calls you've made, the number of face-to-faces you get, the number of letters of intent that you generate, the number of contracts or leases you submit and execute, and your number of closing. And the longer you do this, the more efficient you become. But the only way to track all of those things is through your database. And so it makes you more efficient as a professional. So efficiency is really important. Mm -hmm. um, it adds quality. So those are uh, four great reasons of why. Now let's talk about building your database. So this episode is called Getting Started, Building a Database. So I'm going to give you some steps. And then Chase, if you want to chime in on any of these. Number one, you're going to start with everybody you know. Okay, I need, to, I need to pause on my four and tell you our company works on a shared database. And that's not the case with every commercial real estate firm. In certain firms, you would have your own contacts in your own database, and it would be limited to the people you know. Um, the company I used to work for and now our company, I can see Chase's people. Chase can see my people. We can all see Kyle's people. You're going to be have visibility into all of our people and their notes. So we work on a very transparent, open, honest platform with our CRM. And so you already have a lot of people in the database. But how you build your database is, now back to step number one, Everybody you know that has influence over commercial real estate decisions. It's friends of yours. It's family of yours. You know, it's your, your previous employer um, that owns real estate. It's, it's everybody um, in the market and outside the market. It may be investors. It's people that you know that have lots of money, that have financial goals because you may be calling on those people to see if you can help them with their commercial real estate acquisitions or that part of their 
their portfolio. So step one, identify everybody you know that has influence over this realm. Um, number two, if you have a specialty, and, and you and I haven't gone through all the specialties yet of office and industrial and multifamily and retail and, and so on, but if you identify especially, we're going to let you operate for the first several months and then come back and say, are you feeling a passion for any of these? If you have a specialty, then you're going to go out and within your market area, your geographic coverage area, you're going to identify every property that is a target property within that geographic area. So as I was a, told you, I was a multifamily broker. I did every apartment complex in West Texas, everything more than uh, $500,000 in value, everything more than 25 units. Um, I had them all, every single one of them and the owner, their addresses. I went and got a picture of every single one. So if, uh, if I was calling and prospecting, guy owned four apartments, I could look at pictures of each one. I knew the age of it. I knew how many units it was. And so if you have a property type specialty, you will identify every property within that and then get all of the owners. And you're just going to plan a call campaign where you call and introduce yourself to every one of those owners. And uh, you, you, as you're calling through that, you'll get so busy, you won't know what to do with it. And you'll have so much coming at you, you won't know what to do. Because most commercial real estate brokers aren't disciplined in a prospecting campaign through their database. They just kind of take what comes very loosely. But if you're focused, that's what you're going to do. You're going to put every property into your database. So that's step two. Uh, step one, start with the people. Step two, get the properties and then identify the owners or the landlords if you're dealing with spaces, if you're a leasing one. And then um, on number three on that is harvest all the information possible, track and record phone numbers, uh, you know, get all the information you can on the owners to where you can, your first call isn't so cold, but you can warm up those calls a little bit. Um, Chase, on those three things, do you have any um, further input on steps for her to build? You just got through building a database around, you know, tenants that were looking for spaces in retail shopping centers. Yeah. And so you were identifying tenants that are growing and expanding out of Austin and Houston and Dallas. And so as you've been building your database, anything else that you've done that would be really important for Shannon to think through? Um, yeah, I, I feel like it's a continual process. So it, I'm sorry, you're never going to be done. Yeah, um, that's a good point. And there will be, you will hit a tipping point though. And the way when you get through that tipping point, when you have like, okay, I have a list of 100 properties and 100 owners, it's time to start calling. You know, um, you can continue doing that by doing batch work, which I, I kind of call that, or you say time blocking and just really not trying to do both at the same time, but really focus on, doing this and so that you're more efficient in doing your prospecting. Um, As we look at our disc profiles at the table, we have three extreme extroverts, three people who love people. And it takes a lot of discipline to sit oh, down and um, put all of this data. None of us yes. are like quants, people who just love to sit and enter in data into Excel spreadsheets. So this is an area of discipline uh, for commercial real estate brokers, but I think it's a super important one. Um, some other benefits is whenever you're traveling, I talked about freedom of time, freedom of relationship, independent contractor, you don't have to keep office hours. You have this great new life where you have consummate freedom. So you and Elliot may be on a trip, but all modern databases are online. And so on your phone, you can sync with your phone, you can pull up everybody in your database and you can do all your work from elsewhere. You don't, you're not bound to a desk because you can take your database every, everywhere you go. And so That's it, great. Yeah, it's a tool that gives you a ton of freedom, but it's also something that, uh, that you're going to be disciplined. And it's going to be a benchmark of a successful career for you. It's going to be a cornerstone for you. Okay. Jason, any parting shot? No. All right. No. In that case, um, any other questions? No, I guess when this taping is over, you'll have to show me how to get into that database. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's right. That's um, all right. Getting started. Uh, building your commercial real estate database.